This is the new Mercedes-Benz E-Class. And yes, it's longer and it's got a new engine, but trust me, you're gonna be more interested in the tech. That's because this E300 here features the automaker's boldest rollout of autonomous driving technology yet. It's got a feature called Drive Pilot that allows it to maintain its position in a lane and behind a lead car up to 130 miles per hour. We're not talking mere adaptive cruise control here, that's semi-autonomous driving. It's also got the very first implementation of V2X communication. That means that it's got the transmitters and receiver to allow it to communicate securely and wirelessly with other cars and infrastructure. And as this technology spreads to more models on the road, it means that this car will one day be able to allow the driver to see around corners and through obstructions. That's a really big step on the road to autonomy. Now the coolest features actually won't be making it to the North American market at launch. That is a remote parking feature that will allow it to autonomously go in and out of a garage without the driver behind the wheel and an active lane change feature that allow the driver to, when autonomously driving, hit the turn signal and have the car look in the lane with its sensors and safely make a pass without the driver ever intervening. Those will be in the European market, but they won't be ready for the spring 2016 launch of the Mercedes-Benz E-Class. I'm Antoine Goodwin. We've been on the floor of the 2016 Detroit Auto Show taking a look at the new Mercedes-Benz E-Class. You want to check out Roadshow to find out more about what's under the hood and what sort of performance you can expect from it.